What are you looking at, buddy? Bloody hell. This place is really amazing. I came to... Um, it's a fairly... Fairly recent... Recently developed... Um, desert conservation area. Yeah, I know this area is nice. Saw a couple of different things. Uh, amazing. Started off with um, with a dead carcass. Uh, it looked like a sand gazelle, and it looked like it been it had been um, roasting in the sun for a week, maybe two. I mean, it is so hot. It is so hot here that, you know, even the carcass completely dehydrated and uh, it was, there was a little bit of, 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 of a rotting smell, but I think for the most part, if everything had been dried, the stick, to say. Um, and then went to an observatory. Observatory was, was okay. I mean, fancy building, but they call it the Oryx Observatory. Crap. You're not going to see any Oryxes. Uh, just because it's so hot and they are living beings. So this observatory faces... Uh, it's got a great view, no doubt. But it's facing a pretty barren, deserted area with no trees, no shade. No foliage of any sort. Nothing that the oryx could even eat. So, as I hung around for a bit, sent the, the little fly up, and the little fly was able to to find an oryx. A small little herd, beautiful beasts. Yeah, uh, they were just chilling in the sun. It was around eight o'clock, eight eight thirty. 10 30 now probably around 8 o'clock 8 30 i was still too hot bloody hell they have irrigated this entire place it is a, it's a massive field of green i don't know what this is so that's intense uh yeah the oryx was cool uh stuck around stuck around for a little bit and uh, what is this the fly's battery was low so I had to uh, I had to head back yeah these guys have some security gate here something going on here there's like fields of green stuck why do I keep saying stuck thank you Zane for helping uh, point that out last time I said stuck for the second time yeah, they're like irrigating this entire place. Seeding date. I'm gonna check this out quickly. a crop crop alfalfa who knows what is alfalfa hit it down in the comment section below 
That's interesting. This is a massive farming project here. Yeah. They're growing a crop called alfalfa. No idea what that is. These massive, like, the reverse of a crop circle. Here it is. Miles of the desert and weird patches of, not patches, but weird circles of green. Hmm. And there's quite a few of those. the drone you all will be able to see it hang on hang on uh, I think I've spotted some wildlife spotted some wildlife he can see me hang on let's take this let's take this on the road can you see that tree there there is something under that so we're gonna we're gonna go and explore my guess is right. We are in for a treat. Wind is blowing towards me, which is fine. Ah, it's a springbok. I don't know if you can pick him up. Oh. He saw me and he ran. He ran. Oh, beautiful. He's looking at me. That's beautiful. It's probably too far for the camera. That was cool. It's really cool. Bloody hell! Damn it! Hop, skip, and jump, and he's like a kilometer away. Very, very cool. I have more evidence that it was it was one of the antelopes. Aha! Told ya. species of large antelopes in this area is obviously the Arabian oryx the granddaddy of them all followed by the Arabian sand gazelle and then there's also the uh, Arabian mountain gazelle 
so three main species of uh, antelopes in this area uh, what i just saw hard to say definitely not a spring box spring box only in africa uh, it's the first thing that came to mind amazing it was just one one dude or dudes uh, chilling under under the tree it's 43 degrees and 11 am so i don't blame him for just relaxing there but yeah it was a good good spot nice so i saw the oryx saw the mountain gazelle i saw an amazing lizard of some sort i don't know what it was fairly large fairly large because i could see i could see it from a distance of about 100 meters on the road he was just crossing into the into the shrubs there is no known water monitors around obviously uh well i will look into it this area is amazing especially amazing if uh, you are an uh, an ornithophile someone who studies birds layman's words bird watcher <laughs> yeah this area is filled with them all kinds of stuff all kinds of species i have no idea i'm not a bird person myself i mean i don't i love i'd love to see them but i don't i don't know them by by species there are a lot it's it's a very niche area of expertise but very cool so yeah um uh, that's it for today and it's close to noon i'm going to start heading heading back home grab a bite on the way and uh, call it a day 43 degrees centigrade so i'm not going to push it so that's it if you like the video uh hit the like button and uh if if you like me to continue uh to uh to go on these little adventure projects and film them and uh, hopefully take you on that journey then please do hit the subscribe button and and share until next time signing out peace